15 ways to make a complete mess of your Nibosh IG2 or your NG2 risk assessment. Big fat mistake number 13. Not giving every action an action owner and a deadline. Let's take a look. So we've got this violence at work one here, which we discussed in a previous big fat mistake. Now, a lot of people think that if I write a time scale there, then that time scale, if I write nothing else, will apply to all of these actions. I'm like, uh -uh. no, it won't. Don't just assume that that's obvious to people. No, we want a time scale for all of these. Even if it's the same, even if it's the same, just write it down. I mean, if we look at the Nibosh sample, all these, all these, they've all got, they've all got timescales. Look, the, these two here, they've got the same timescale, three months and three months. The, the person who wrote this didn't just assume, oh, it's the same for both. No, it's not the same for both. Look, and they've all got job titles. Now, even if it's the same job title, doesn't matter, write it in. Now you might be able to say, you might get away with, if you're really lazy, and it's never a good idea to be lazy, is it? General manager for all of these actions. You could maybe say something like that. I wouldn't push it. You are really pushing your luck if you do that, because some examiners may be a little bit pedantic with this. I think it's sensible to do it that way, which is the way they have done it in the Nibosh sample here. So always put an action owner and a deadline for every single action. 